Hey, yo, you know what's fucked up? Many of you. Many of you are out your mind. You know, many of you are out your mind because I don't know what, you know, what gives you that individual the right to think just be, you know, fucking cause. You shot a motherfucker. Or maybe you killed the motherfucker. That, that nobody else know nothing about. Gives you a right to abuse your community. Well, she was due a sabbatical. They just advanced the date a little. <laughs> you want to terrorize the elders in your community. You want to set a fucked up example for the young folks in your community. See, that was a saying, you know, you never shit, you know, when you, when you, when you, when you rest, you know. No one, I don't understand why you motherfuckers that's always bragging about my block and all this other monkey shit. Never do more to clean it up, to keep that community clean, poison-free from any other whole shit that goes on in these streets. Yeah. Now, let's say you do that, then yeah, I, I think you got a right to say, hey, yo, that's my, that's my heart right there. But if you're a poisoner of that, nah, you should never be allowed to say, hey, just because I'm the dirt there, I got a right, you know, because I'm the filthy, the pisser, the shitter, the robber, you know, of the young and the, of the elders, you know, now you want some type of praise, whole ass nigga, you know, so I can't understand for the love of me how anyone can equate that for some real shit. I just don't get it. I, I'm not of that time. That's why I say this type of whole shit is foreign to me. So I decided to take Very foreign. For the I'm not a gangster, I've never been a, in a gang. I've always felt that I was the strength. And I always believed that was not a gang made for me. Not a, that's not one out there. You know, I don't see gangs standing on morals and fucking principles. Nah. I have not seen one where their members honor their word. Let's see what you got. You niggas are liars and, 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 and confusers and all this other shit. So to me, I've realized today you niggas are nothing more than clansmen. You motherfucking niggas, you do the same goddamn thing. It's they creeps. It's them silk bags. Then doing the same goddamn thing. You black clansmen, nothing more. Y'all are missing. All you niggas are missing. All you non-white motherfuckers, you're missing today. It's the sheets over your head. You need to put the sheets. Get cigarette butts in. You know what? The next time, I'm gonna do that. That's a great idea. And it's kind of crazy, man. When I talk about how the community used to be where black folks controlled the economy, from the supermarkets, the candy stores, the goddamn cleaners, all of the, the supers of the building, understand that. See, you motherfuckers of the day, you can't even visualize that. Because we allowed foreigners to come amongst our people and rape our people. Don't even fucking say thank you. They come amongst our people, man, with no respect, man. And we okay with this fuckery. We fucking okay with this fuckery, man. You allow these motherfuckers to get the fuck out of my store. Hey, yo, I'm five cents short. Hey, hey, no, 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 I can't do it. How these motherfuckers don't ever invest in the community? You motherfuckers don't, it's okay with this. They keep opening business up in our community not one time. Do you motherfuckers say, hey, man, why you motherfuckers ain't got no black motherfuckers in this store? Yo, where the Puerto Ricans at, man? Man, where the people of the country, where, what part are we playing here in our so-called own country, man? What's the fucking part? And how the fuck are you lames so, so accepting of this fuckery, man? See, when I talk about it, man, oh, that nigga crazy. Nah, man, I, I, no way in the world, man. There's no way. There's no fucking way. I'm tired of black folks fucking losing. You got even niggas selling black folks out, man. I don't get it. You motherfuckers bow down to everybody else. One. For nothing you will bow down to. You motherfuckers want to be cool. Some of you cowards of the day want to be white. Don't even understand how strong your DNA is. If you were white, man, DNA-wise, you are so inferior. White folks are so goddamn inferior 
to black folks superior DNA, what the, why would you want to go white? And even if you weak bastards decided to alter your nose or your skin, you're going to look like shit. There's no way in this world, no black motherfucker, not even Michael Jackson, man. And Michael went to the extreme to prove something to white folks. Man, he went to the goddamn, he became an addict for you white folks, man. Are you ready to admit the truth? Y'all motherfuckers almost stopped him from literally using his nose to ever breathe again. You was about to force him to start breathing out his mouth or insert some tubes in his neck or something. He went to the extreme, man. and when they said his autopsy, man, that nigga had so many fake body parts, it was, it was a shame. Goodness gracious. He was like a Play-Doh, man. He was oh, so put together. Oh, man, he spent so much money for that white hair. And it was real hair, yeah. Yeah, it was really hair, but he, he designed it in a way. Hey man, he went to the extreme. We look at our black folks. We look at with the Serena Williams, man. Look at what's happening to her. There's nothing. I'm gonna let me tell you. Let me tell you, you, you. Okay, you got money. You, you. Hey, I can do what I want to do. But it also shows just how much you motherfuckers don't believe in God like some of you liars say you do. Because if you did believe like you say you believe, there's no fucking way you'd have altered the way. God has created you. You would have been so content. Hey, man. But no, you got a few dollars. And let me let me get the nose right. I, I'm not satisfied with my nose. These lips are not right, man. This, I want you to suck some of that air out them big bubbles on my, on my face. And I want you to withdraw some of that thick collagen out of my goddamn nose. I want you to strengthen it down. I want you to try to push my big Korean black face and I want you to try to shrink it down, son. Yeah, you can do all that. Yeah. And I want you to make these little knobbers on my chest extreme, bubbly, that even touching them feels, ugh, you don't even get it. it don't, you don't even understand. A, a real man, I mean, let me tell you something, man. I was with this white bitch, man, and word is bond. Hey man, touching her titties, man, was so goddamn. I was so turned off because you can feel, you can feel, too, you can feel the difference, man. It just don't feel to the hand. It don't feel good at all. I don't want me personally, man, as a master. My word is bond. I don't want a, I don't want a black woman with a wig on. I don't want no woman with a wig. I don't really want a woman with no that clown shit on the face, the makeup. I understand. You, it, it just showed women that want to, whatever the case may be. But me, personally, I got to, I want to see what you look like without all that. I need, I want that. I want you without that shit. Because you may look totally different with all that shit on, that once you subtract that, you'll be like, oh my, oh no, no, no. And your mind be like, get the fuck out of here. No way. Cheers. Hey, baby, you're going to have to keep that on. <laughs> no, you're going to have to keep not. Uh -huh. Please, baby. I'd rather be in that. In that, I would want that makeup, bitch. Nah, man, I don't want to. I don't want to be fooled, man. I'm the type I don't want to be fooled, man. Please don't fool me, man. That's going to really ruin, ruin my, that perception. I, I, I don't. You know, I, I'm with the first impression. My thing is the first impression. You know, I've always came correct. I've always goddamn uh, came a correct man. I've always came correct. And I tell motherfuckers, man, this is the truth, man. Any goddamn motherfucker that I've ever, man. Ever, ever. Ever, ever know. If something has happened in that relationship, man, my word to you as a man, it was never because no shit I've done, man. That's 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 on my nuts, man. That's 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 just the truth, man. It's not because of no. I'm not moving that way, man. Anybody that and I'm telling you, man, it's not to boast to brag, but motherfuckers, well, not motherfuckers, but individuals that's been up north with me, motherfuckers that's been around back 10, 20 years ago, and we happen to bump heads. I'm gonna tell you something, man. The way they remember me back then, 
And to see me today, you know what they're saying? They always said the same. I smile word, the same goddamn thing. They said, nigga, you don't change. And I tell them, man, if I change, I'll be front. No, I ain't change. I'm the same motherfucker, man. And I, I have not met motherfuckers like myself. I'm being real with you, man. Nah, man. Yo, man. I never. If you my people's man, there's not a way. If some snake shit, and I always try to tell my fucker, listen here, man. And I want you to, before you answer this question, please listen to me. I need you to know the importance of a lie, man. A lie to me. That's a, a useless lie. If your life is not on the line, if you're not on the gut, your life is not being threatened in no shape or form. I need you to think before you answer this question, man. Please, man. There's no reason for you to lie, man. Please listen to me. Don't lie. Because if you lie, it's gonna it's gonna ruin what's happening today. It's gonna just it's gonna blow a hole in what's it what's going on today. That lie it, it fucks me up. You know, especially if I know what's going on. If I already know the answer. And I'm giving this motherfucker the opportunity. Say, listen here, man. Please listen to me. I will have so much respect from you being a man. I have so much respect. But you being a man and saying, yeah, that was me. Yo, you know, I, I, if you are able to man up that way and say, yo, my bad, you know something? I'll forgive that motherfucker. I would really forgive you. That's so, it's, that's that's important to me. The truth is so fucking important to me. Hey, man, motherfuckers that gave me shit, man. Nah, 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 rephrase. Motherfuckers have left in my, in my possession bags, man. Yo, P, hold this for me. If I take it, then I'm responsible for it. And I'm so so stand up on my, that responsibility. That this motherfucker had the balls or, 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 or felt that I was worthy to hold something. You know, because there's not many motherfuckers going to do what I do, man. I'm not going to open that up. Nah, man, it's going to be packed. It's going to be stored somewhere and fucking forgot about it until you come get it. Period. It's just fucking period, man. You know, I'm known for that. Motherfuckers done put credit cards with their pen number in, in my possession, man. Motherfuckers done put their car keys and put their cards in my possession, yo. And I ain't even know how to fucking drive. <laughs> I ain't being real with you. But yet I still try. I got stuck on the corner one time, man. I'm like, yo. Chick looking at me. <laughs> she crossed over. She, yo, you need help? I'm like, yup. Shaking my head. Like, yup. <laughs> but yup. Motherfuckers trusted me like that, man. Even when I was getting high in the streets, when I was boots to the ground, motherfuckers always say, oh, man, I've got kicked out of spots when motherfuckers thought I had no more money. And I used to always want to test you motherfuckers out there. Just because you an addict doesn't mean you got to relinquish your morals or some type of principles. You stand on something. Regardless. One thing I've never in my fucking life done was motherfucker came into my rat hole to get high. I've never... Never ever said, yo man, you got to go. That's not happening, man. Hey man, you can just, you know, relax until you're ready to get up out of here, man. And motherfuckers always say, hey man, hey man, you ain't never kicking nigga out. I said, I, I've never done that because I don't like that. I don't like that goddamn feeling. And it's been done to me. And what I would do on my way out, I would pull some money out to see them switch up all of a sudden. <laughs> you think I'm gonna be here that long? But now there's no switching up because I'm ghost. It's, I'm gone. There's no hanging around with you, motherfucker. You crazy? But it was what it was. But it's sad how we move forward in life, man. And nobody is paying attention to what's happening around them. I'm, I have to pay attention. I'm always paying attention. That's something I've always done, man. I'm moving by myself, and I got my goddamn dark glasses on, and I'm moving about. Y'all see me? I'm by myself, man. I'm always by myself. I wish there was something. I was in the hospital yesterday. This two two o'clock this morning. My uh, I, my physically, I wasn't feeling right. Man. I'm over 50 years old, man. but I still look good for 50. You know, physically, I feel so good, man. I mean, really feel so good, man. I can kick your head off. I, I can stretch. I mean, I, you know, I, I feel good, man. I just started boxing again, and physically, 
my neck and my left arm, the left side is in, it's sore because I have not been in the gym. You know, I was in the gym and I was losing so much weight then, motherfuckers. You know, I lost interest in it because, you know, nobody was supportive. Nobody, man. I was so disappointed, man. You know, no one's like, hey, man, keep up the good work, man. Hey, yo, what you doing, man? Nobody asks a question. But you motherfuckers, you prejudged me. You looked out from the outside, regardless of how clean I was, regardless of how good my skin looked. You bastard said, hey, he's on drugs. You gave me no credit, man, and it really hurt the core. It hurt the goddamn core. It did. Well, anyway, uh, I'm about trying to... Oh, well, anyway, I was saying I was in the hospital, excuse me. This morning I went in because physically, uh, everything was off, man. My pulse was so fucking... My pulse was 167. Hold on, let me get the paper. And I showed y'all, I showed y'all motherfuckers, uh, I showed y'all, uh, I showed y'all before it was 117 over, oh, it was low, before it was just so low, it was good. But, I went this morning, I went this morning and it was 169 over 77, y'all. Uh, oxygen was 97. Pulse was 79, you know, temperature was 97, 9, but the pulse was fucking hot. It's like, yo, you got people with high blood pressure in your family. Not that I recall. You dig it? Because the, we have no, no relationship in the family, man. For some sad fucking reason. For some fucking whole shit, you know. I've been, been in the dark, man. Like, I don't know be knowing nothing. Really, I don't. And that's fucking sad, nigga. I don't know who these people thought I was or who, who they think I am. No one has ever asked me goddamn directly. They always, with the, with the I heard, from getting, getting from all the I heard motherfuckers. No one to say, hey, man, it's probably, you know, I've always waited for motherfuckers to be stand up like that, man. I, man, you don't understand. You know, shit, I have not ran into that motherfucker yet, and I'm over 50, man. I'm sorry, I... Shit. Everybody's been on some fucking whole shit. That is crazy. Whole shit. No one has been... Man, you just don't get it, man. I'm tired of dealing with you motherfuckers like you motherfuckers ain't dealing with me. And I can't deal with you motherfuckers crookedly. I just, I just can't do it. I've been jumped three times, man. Which proves to you that you know, I've been jumped three that. times in prison. Well, which proves to me one by bloods. Uh, one by no, some punk-ass niggas. Punk ass ass niggas. Well, really all these niggas is punk-ass niggas, man. Be real with you, man. Because, you know, one thing yeah. I've never was, was able to return. I would never be able to reciprocate jumping a motherfucker. I just could never, even though I got jumped. I could never, ever, ever, ever in my goddamn life participate ever in jumping of one motherfucker. That's never going to happen. Fuck out of here. Because I'm saying, myself, I know I was hitting hard. I know I was fighting. You know, my thing, I was, you know, I was, a, I was, a, I was doing my thing. And that's the truth, man. You know, so there's no, I'm, and from, from where I'm standing, there's no goddamn way I need another motherfucker for one person. Man, you crazy. I'm here too hard for that. Fuck, I need, you know, and, and we were situations where, you know, you know, my folks was like, yo, man, we gonna get the nigga. I'm like, huh? Hey, man, I'm not even in that. Why they talking, man? I'm just waiting to see something, man. If I see it, I'm on it. Period. I'm on. There's no goddamn way I'm waiting for you motherfuckers for help. Nah. And funny thing, when this is truth, I would move so goddamn fast. The only thing that would look, when police would look up, what they would all see in location, what they would always fucking see, where it's going, which would never hold up in court, was both, it was happened twice, uh, both in the hallways, but blind spots. So, so police, but because I've never came with so many people, a single person is not going to get a lot of attention compared to three, four, five, six, them type of motherfuckers. So I always believe I'm walking in and lining you up as I'm walking anyway. 
So I'm either walking on a soft side or a strong side. And all I got to do is hit you one time. That's all I'm, I'm not gonna uh, one to you. I'm gonna just get you, pop, and I'm gonna keep it moving. And what's gonna happen, what's happened both times, is that both of them is on their way down and I'm up out of here. And so they both said the same thing. They said, when I looked, when I looked, one said, when I looked up, what I seen was, they said, I was walking away and one was on the ground. And both, of the, uh, both locations was down there the same thing. One, when I looked around, all I seen was one on the ground and one moving away. But I, I, I did not know if the two was related. They could never say that because they didn't see it. It wasn't like when they looked up, I was a foot away. No, I was not a foot away. I was maybe four or five foot feet away. So I'm already out of that distance. When you look up, it's like, nah, just too, nah, just too far. There's no way, you know. Well, anyway, I, that's why I've never returned that fucking favor. You know, I've never felt I was a bitch ass nigga and needed the help of some other motherfuckers to get one person like you motherfuckers of the day because I don't know who the fuck believe you motherfuckers, but I tell you what, they doing a fucking piss poor job. They doing a bad job and they should be, they should be executed in front of the world for that fraud, fraudulent shit. They should be executed, bypass the court, straight to execution, live at 1 p.m. At the square. Yes, right. At the goddamn square. Maybe this Wherever that square may be. Like I'm tired. Me personally, I'm tired of these young folks. You know, I'm just tired of, you know, hearing. I don't want to even hear it no more. I don't want to even see it no more. I can't even afford to pay attention to it no more. I cannot. Because physically, it's doing something to me, man. I'm so goddamn intense with trying to, you know, focus on these young folks. And, you know, if I can get a message, man, I'm going to give it, man. See, I'm in a rush to try to give it. But because what holds me back is that, I'm, like I said, I'm an, ex, I'm an ex-criminal. And some of the crimes that I've been convicted of or copped out to, well, one of them happened to be assault on a uniform cop where I got possession of his weapon. Had I been somebody different, it, I'm quite sure that probably been a... a, a a, a foul ending. It could have been. Because one, that officer was a dirtbag. He was a piece of shit. He uh, continuously abused his authority. It's like he, he was... Uh, uh, he had something to prove, which was sad. You know, because on this, this, this unfortunate day, that he in, invited on his fucking self. You know, and he's a black cop too, mind you. Uh, I was in the hallway of one of my associates' building, of course period. I wasn't even born you know, yet. so this creep, earlier, he drives a scooter. So earlier, he parked that scooter in front of the building. Actually, out of the so-called respect, no one came around, okay? So later, at that time, I was fucking with the Spanish chick uh, two blocks away on Longfellow. Now, uh, I come back, the scooter's gone. Now, check this shit out. Look what's running through my mind, but I ignored this. Now, I, I, I walk in front of the building, the scooter's gone. I walk to the corner, and I looked towards the left. Now, something told me, yo, you know, just walk and look in between where they dumped the garbage at. Just look back there. Something said, it, it said this to me, man. I swear, if I would have done that, I would have seen the scooter. Then I would have known he's sneaking up the building through the roof. I would have known that. You hear what I'm saying? But because I ignored that goddamn warning, it, it, it came to me. I, and I'm looking, some said, just go ahead. And I said, no. I said, fucking no. I, I said, no. And I walked back into the building. Now, I'm, this building have two, two, you got a, you got a main exit, you got the side exit, side stairs, main stairs, uh, one elevator. What's the situation? So now, I'm in between the two stairs, I'm in that little square, and I'm looking at the courtyard, I'm at the window looking at the courtyard. I'm in my own zone. This motherfucker, he comes down the side staircase. Now, mind you. Through my peripheral, I see the figure. I don't know that's the police, but I know it's a fucking figure, but I'm still zoned out in the courtyard, in, in my thoughts. 
So this fucking clown, he literally he's coming down the stairs, and I think at the second stairs, or maybe the third one, he jumped off it, and the sound he made was like this. Ha ha! That was his sound. Like he caught me. I looked at my left, and hey, I'm back into the courtyard. So he approached me. He was, I, I, you know, had I been doing something, I had a choice to get up out of there. I mean, I could have ran, no problem, ghost. But this motherfucker, he approached me. You see, I, me, me too. I'm not the, I'm not the type to run. I, 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 I wasn't the running type. I, that's the truth. You know, I'd rather deal with situations right now. I don't want to run. You know, I'm not, I, I, I don't want to get tired. I'm not doing nothing. First of all, now had I been doing something, yeah, I could have been ghost. But this motherfucker approached me. He said, yo, do you live in the building? That was his question. And I said, no, sir, I don't live in the building. My peoples live here. Now, what this motherfucker said to me, he said, okay. He said, let me, he said, turn around and let me handcuff you so I can take you up upstairs so he can verify. First of all, I said, you know, you got the right man, you know, but the wrong plan. I'm not going to willingly turn around and just say, go ahead, handcuff me. Man, get the fuck out of here with that, man. I'm not even doing nothing. First of all, you know, so for, for just to turn around, fuck, I don't even want no cuffs on my motherfucking hand. But to willingly turn around and let you do this for what? Nah, man, we can go to the intercom because I'm not taking police. I don't do it, man. There's no way I'm bringing police to your dope, man. It's not going to happen. We got another option. I'm going to go right to the intercom and same results, man. Hey, man, I need you down here, man. This motherfucker fucking with me. No, I couldn't do that. He wanted me to turn around and cuff him, man. He wanted to, me to turn around so he can cuff me, which was just wasn't going to happen, man. I would have felt like, like, like I had a pussy, man. I would have really felt like a bitch had I turned around for no fucking reason. I know that. Now, anyway, guys can't. That's the way it goes. I'm talking to this dude, I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? but I realize, but I'm lining, I'm lining up, man, because I, I know I've got a little boxing skill. I do have that, you know, so I'm, I'm lining now. I see talking to this motherfucker like a man that's not forget about that. In my mind, I'm thinking that respect, that useless respect I'm giving this fucking whore clown. Fuck that. You see, you wasn't there. You motherfuckers wasn't there. But you see, you see this on my rap sheet, and then automatically you prejudge me as some like you clown bitch motherfuckers do today. You know, that's why I need a job, man. I really need a job. But these fucking whores, you see that case, and for some reason, you just, hey, man, he's dangerous. You see robbery, oh, he's dangerous. You see burglary, oh, he's dangerous. You see guns, and you see drugs. I got that on my record. That's what's on my goddamn record, man. So anyway, and that's not to boast to brag, man, but damn, man. You talk about benefit of the doubt, man. Giving a motherfucker a break, a second break, man. I've never been given a second break, the fuckers. You know, so this dude kept, he kept pressuring me, man. Now I'm lining him up in my mind. And I'm saying to myself, I see a house got to be now, man. I got the two-piece this nigga with no biscuit. Now, had I two-pieced him, and I'm saying to myself, and if I don't knock this nigga out, I got to expect him to rush me, and I got to be able to sidestep this mother. I'm playing everything in my mind. I swear to you, I'm playing it. And it happened the way I played it in my mind. Normally, I draw him. I hit him with the right. I hit him with the hook first. Boom. Then the motherfucker left. I came quick. Boom. Boom. But he caught, he caught him, but for some reason, the nigga, he did what I said he was going to do, and that was to jump, but I was not quick enough to, 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 to sidestep it. And when he jumped on me, man, that nigga had his hand on me, and his legs, that nigga got me wrapped like I was some type of present, right? So mind you, the way he got me strapped, he got me, he got, he got my upper arms, but my hands are loose. My hands is, I could have, if I was dirty, man, I could have. Hit the gun or I, I didn't never do this, man. I, my word, I never, ever, never put my hands on that officer's uh, uh, holster. Never, ever, ever had I took that man's gun out of his holster. I've never done this, period. Had I gotten his gun? Yes, I got his gun. But how did I get the nigga gun? Because out of the struggling, it came and hit the ground. And that's the only thing came to my mind was to grab the motherfucker. So I did. I grabbed it, and I looked at him, and what happened was when when I spun around and I had his gun. Now, I had the gun in my left hand, and he's still in, on my left side. He's 
uh, 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 still on the ground, mind you. So as I got up and I got the gun in my left, he said he saw me, you know, pull it up some. But had he been paying attention, he would have seen that, yes, I got the barrel, but my finger was never, ever, ever, ever on the trigger. It was on the protection of the trigger. It was on the outside of where the trigger was at because I'm aware of there no safety there. So there's no way I was going to make no type of error where this man, because, man, he's in, he invited this shit, man. Look, I wasn't doing nothing to this nigga. So now I got the gun. And he was really in no danger because he'd have been paying attention. It was he would have seen how it was held, but he seen it. Look at him, and he went into a fetal position. He he just closed up real quick. Like had the gun been shot, that would have been enough to stop them bullets from hitting him. You know, he went into that fetal position, and I got up. I got up, but I didn't understand at first. Somebody was calling the police, and there were so many cars in the street. But for somebody, for, for that day, somebody had to be on my side because I'm running out the building with the gun in my hand. But as I get to the courtyard, that the building is still blocking what's in the street until I get to the stairs where it goes down. But as I as soon as I, I hit the courtyard out the building and once I got past the, that, that first piece of that block of the building that blocks the street, as soon as my peripheral scene blew, the gun is in my left hand, so I throw it behind my left leg. I wasn't, I couldn't stop, so I had to keep going in motion. Now, these, it was so many cars in the street, but at the time, they were just looking around. No one said, hey, man, somebody go up them stairs and, and see if the number's that way. These motherfuckers all were put so stupid, I believe my angels somehow protected me because... When I came out, I swear, there was like four police cars and officers were standing outside their fucking car just looking around. Just foolishly looking around like they looking for the number of the goddamn building. Now, I'm saying to myself, I'm saying, wow. I said, I'm playing this out later when they caught me because I put the gun under the car and some nosy rat waiting at the stoplight. You know, he was looking in this direction. That I was coming and he seen. Police didn't see. It was like they were all put on on being blind for a minute. And I'm not lying. I'm, I'm telling you about this day because I say this because I could have been dead. When I got to the precinct, the motherfucker told me. I'm hearing him ask them, "Hey man, what about your backup? Yo, what happened to your backup?" And I said, "God damn!" Oh my God! And this motherfucker, they would have probably seen him as some type of hero. He could have told a lie however he wanted to because he did tell it. When he wrote his statement, he said, I ripped the goddamn gun out of his holster. He said, I ripped it, y'all. I ripped it. The Glocks ain't got a safety. He said, I ripped it. And he was not shot. He said, I ripped it out of his holster. And physically, I was never in no danger at all. There was no way. You know a motherfucker tried to grab your weapon, man. You know what type of fight is going to go down. You already know. You already goddamn know. And it didn't go down like that. So somebody tell me, how? How was they able to even accept that fucking lie that that goddamn creep wrote? And he altered the op, the, the holster because they popped the interior locking bar. They popped it. And nobody said, you know, I laid up on Rikers Island like three years. And you know what? There was a case when I think Khalid Muhammad, I don't know for three years, two years, something like that. But I know Khalid Muhammad was in Harlem at the time and a riot broke out. You know, he said some shit and motherfuckers was going at the police and one nigga tried to grab the gun out the holster. And when he tried to grab the police holster, I mean, still grab the gun out the holster. Holster. Holster, God damn it! When he tried to grab the gun out the police holster, guess what happened? police were shot in the leg. So I said, oh shit, that's my case. That's my fucking case. First of all, I was, uh, he was, a, he was an 11 year veteran at the time. So how are they training these people to defend themselves if somebody jeopardized their weapon like that? I mean, think about that. You know, I mean, how are you going to explain that? This man is, he had no scars. You ain't bite his nose off. You ain't pull, you ain't guard his eyeballs out. You ain't yank his nuts loose. I mean, how, I mean, what was you doing while this dude was ripping your shit to pieces? What the fuck kind of defense was you putting up? How was, what's the defense at? Where? Where? Physically, how can you prove that you put that up against me? He, he couldn't prove it. 
But the lie was able to stand. Yo, I'm a criminal. My rap sheet. And I, I wanted to. I wanted to take. I wanted to take. I wanted to go to trial. I wanted to take that stand. You know, because they wasn't going to allow me, especially the lawyers. I, I've always was suspected. You know, always suspicious of the lawyers because they, I, I, I was financially embarrassed, man. And I wasn't really going to put my trust in these people. Man. I would look at how they present themselves. Then I have questions. Then I'd be like, yo, ask this question. Now I'm like, yo, listen to me, man. I said this to two lawyers, man. I said, listen to me, man. If you don't do this, man. I listen to me clearly, man. My word to you as a man. And one thing I do, I do honor my word. I do. And I said this to him. I said, if you do not answer this question, if you don't tell, ask this question, I'm going to punch you in your motherfucking face, man. All right? Hey, man, I don't want this lawyer, man. I don't. Listen to me, man. I fuck you up. You come back in here again, I'm going to fuck you up. You hear me? I'm going to fuck you. You up, man, and I mean it. Don't don't call my name. to better not come out your mouth. You come back in here, it's gonna be a bad day for you. Even in front of the police, I don't give a fuck because I was getting niggas in front of the police. Motherfuckers thought they can hide there. Nah, nigga, we ain't gonna hide right there. That's not gonna, that's not enough to save you, nigga. I was getting them, and like I said, I'm not a gangster. I'm not a gang member. I'm none of that. Now, uh, one nigga did that because he owed me from gambling. He said he would, and I and I think Swan, Swan, Puerto Rican nigga from Brooklyn, Bay Ridge, down in the 50s. He was for some reason he thought something sweet was, but he thought he and I thought he was my people. But for some reason, he must have said this. Nobody can be getting shit the way he getting. He ain't got a visit. This nigga got all sneakers. He got, I had like 10 watches. Hey, I'm being real with you, man. Really, really being real with you, man. You know, but for some reason, he thought, just you know, just, nah, he, he can't be. He, there's no way. He's that cool. Nah, I doubt. So I believe what happened was, Sunday, I apologize for DVD because it, 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 going, it had to go back there. Sunday, me and my homie was gambling against two other cats. And we cleaned their commas, we cleaned the lockers out Monday, and they still owed. So now I was working suicide. That job, my job was to make sure nobody kills themselves within that period of time. Eight, eight hours, ten hours, whatever the case may be. And that was the highest paying job on Rikers Island. So I had to get my hustle on. Now I'm working in a reception house. You know, my thing was keep cigarettes up there, you know, get the drugs that's up there, get the weed up there, you know, get get jewelry if it's up there. You know, we're going to do it this way, though, man. You got the cigarettes. Yeah, what you want? Niggas want to come in. Niggas want to smoke. Come on, man. Niggas kicking their lungs is on the gate. Come on, man. It's just business. For some reason, Monday comes, I'm up there working. So I didn't go to the store that day. Somebody, and this young boy, I didn't even know this nigga. I ain't even know homie. So I don't know what the fuck told this nigga, hey man, you owe and you're not going to pay. Who, who, you don't even know me. Who told you, hey man, don't pay him. He, he, he is not going to do nothing. I mean, what the fuck? And I think you said that. I think this kid said it to him. Because, uh... When I got back in and they informed me what happened, I sent two of my soldiers at that. Well, I want to call them soldiers. My people, I said, yo, I'm gonna get that nigga up out of here, man. Get him out of here. And what happened was, they, when they went to go get him, he's standing in front of the police and they look at me like, wow, he's right here. He's right in front of the bubble, man. He's standing right the fuck there. And I'm looking at this nigga. I'm like, what? Hey man, I said, yo, I went up to the dude, man, and I beat him bad. I swear to you, I, because I don't know why that day, every punch I was hitting this nigga with, I swear to you, I felt every goddamn punch. I felt every punch like digging his face, oh, digging his neck, oh. He slid, he slid down the wall, and I, at that time I had on Timberland, I had the chuckers on. We had the well, a beef and broccoli chuckers on. You know them hard ones. He's sliding down, man, and I'm listening for the police to say stop three times. I'm listening. So as he's sliding down, he's sliding down the wall, I'm kicking him. Boom, 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 stop. Boom, 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 stop. Boom, 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 stop. That's it. I reversed my thoughts, got up out of there. I seen the nigga later, man. The nigga, you know who he remind me of? The dog from Little Rascal. 
because that dude had a right, his whole right eye was fractured. It was fucking fractured. It was in one big circle. And I was coming out of the house I was working on, and he was standing in the hallway by himself. And I, you know, I don't know, I, I should have asked him. I should have asked him, hey man, what made you do that stupid shit, man? Oh man, I should have asked him that. The world's first because had he said Swan, I would have fucked him up. You know, you know, Swan asked me after I was finished. He said, "Who face did you see?" That was his fucking question. That was the only fucking question you asked, nigga. Why? Simple. Because you, you know, it was your face. You know, he knew it was his. Healthy doesn't have to taste bad. Swan, you knew it was yours. Actually, delicious. And that was crazy. You know, I couldn't understand. You motherfuckers are sending my people. I don't talk behind my people's back. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even play that. I don't even play that. I don't even want to hear no fuckery like that. Nah, I don't want to hear that whole shit. Nah. We don't want to hear that whole shit no more. Thank you very much. We're going to always stay firm. And it's about trying to show these young folks, man. Hey, man, you got motherfuckers out here that really love you, man. Nah, not in love with you. Love you. Like little sons and brothers and little sisters. And we'll protect you and such. You don't got to fucking, you know, be upset at every goddamn adult. Lose all respect for adults because your parents, what they doing to you, man. Yeah, I know how you feel. You goddamn right. Yeah, I know how you feel, man. Yeah, I know. You must have, you, you brought here, why? You, you, you invited child here, and what's the reason? Why? That's crazy. Some of this type of fuckery affects some longer than it does. It's, it affects, it affected me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm so, you know, disappointed, very angry, very angry, you know. Oh, and Alex, wonderful if Ralph became an executive of the company. And it is tonight? what the fuck oh, is. Tracy, it on is. the strength of spending one mm. evening with your boss, you don't become an executive, you know. Well, I, I guess that would be a little Because I'm saying I'm tired of but dealing I'll with you straight up and y'all dealing with me crooked. Really That's sad. <laughs> I'm sure of that. Thank you, motherfuckers, to stand oh, up and, you know, come and find out that crooked like everybody else. And that's just some fuckery. That's fine. I just can't get it. You would rather eat my flesh. Just say you'll pull me to the side like I will pull you to the fucking side. That's wrong. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Yeah, man. And as a grown man, I'd be like, man, I just don't understand it, man. I don't ever. I don't ever want you to see that girl again. And I don't ever, ever want the name of Norton mentioned in this house again. Oh, Ralph, what happened? I want to say a question. Snick. Oh, man, you see how Benedict Arnold. Oh, Norton. I told you never to mention his name in this house. Yeah. Oh, you tell me what happened. Oh, it knew. He talked Marshall into giving him a job. A job with a bus company? Then why are you so upset? Because he's going to be my boss. <laughs> Your boss? That's right. Let's face it, when he comes to work for the company, I quit. But why? I got my pride. 
<laughs> Ralph, have you talked this over with Ed? I should say not. We came out of Marshall's house, I turned my back on him, and I walked right away from him. Well, Ralph, what makes you so sure he even wants the job? Maybe by this time he's thought it over and decided not to take it. After all, Ed's very happy at the sewer, and he's due for a promotion. Okay. We in the building. Right. Let's get it. He likes that job. You know yourself, got. man. You would learn. You left the sewer. You get like a fish out of water. You said you would <laughs> learn to get it. You My love yourself. This is missing. You think you love yourself? No I'll, way. I'll, Not today. Uh, Y'all niggas here. Excuse me. No, I, I got to talk to you. I figured I'd talk to you on the way home, but, but uh, you want to uh, play you games. Like sunlight. You want fame, but you still want to. Hang out in the ghetto. What's the purpose? You defeat the purpose. Once I get me some cash, I'm gone. Quickly. I'm out. I'm gone. Fuck what you heard. Fuck you. Oh, man, he turned it back on the hood. Man, fuck you, nigga. Get it like I've gotten it, nigga. I don't owe you nothing, nigga. Who's obligated to you, nigga? He forgot the hood. this bitch? Welcome. I don't think there'll be any necessity yes, for that. Yes, sir. You already are right. You don't give a fuck. No, sir. Uh, we uh, will uh, never stop. Uh, that's right. Uh, uh, Here we you go. Can call me Ian. Yes, sir. Now you <laughs> niggas know. Why don't you wait until you get the job and then those things will just... It is. You know? What the fuck? Anyway, it is. Uh, it is what uh, it is. Uh, Ralph, another thing. It uh, is. Peace, uh, God. That, uh, yes, sir. It is what it is. Peace. God. Just because I don't think that's what it is. Hold on, nigga. Anyway, that's what we're going to do our friendship. And as long as you're like checking the bus driver, you are sure. Where you at, Black? Being a bus driver as long as you live. Where you at, Black? Facts is facts. You niggas. You clan men. What's up, Black? Hold up. Wait a minute. Who is that? Are you really in this motherfucker to win? Thank you, sir. Let's go ahead and stop it. Fuck me. Fuck it up now. Fuck it up now. I swear, you motherfuckers don't really understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went from peace, God, to this whole shit. We went from peace, God, I said, to this whole shit. We went from peace, God, to this whole shit. We went from peace, God, to this goddamn whole shit. You someone tell me, how the fuck is that? We went from peace, God. That's a beautiful, that's a great saying there. Very beautiful. And it's form. Peace, God. Yes, sir, in this beautiful form. Now you niggas talk that hateful shit from peace, God, to this whole ass hating shit. Now, I got to understand something now, boy. Somebody tell me now. What's good, boy? What's good, boy? I said, what's good, boy? You love it. I said, you love supporting evil. Yeah, you love it, boy. You know your mama and your pop wasn't Jack. No one. No one. No one else. You so feel the band. So you're going that. Everyone else. Where am I? Everyone is to blame. Same spot I was in when I started. Ain't that a bitch? North meets the boss one day. You had this white folk slaughter eight Asians. Eight. What's the difference? And them white folks does not claim that. Consider that uh. Some bias right. shit. Crazy? Nah, man, there's just no way. I could see if you got a white person involved or something like that. That didn't happen. You are a very valuable man. That didn't happen. All you did was you killed Asians. You went from different locations and you killed Asians. That's all you did. We know that's what all is that in these places. Asians. Dig it. Dig it, man. I said, dig it. Dig it, man. I wanted to see you, too. Shit. Well, uh, so keep talking about. Apologies. Uh, yeah. You ever really stop trying to play with me? I ain't no game. I'll tell you uh, an injustice. Mm -hmm. I was upstairs talking to her about my idea about odd and even buses, you know. And she reminded me of, of your idea for all of the buses. Awful buses. Yeah. Remember when you was having dinner at our house one night, you was sounding off about the bus schedule and everything. You said, why don't they have all of the buses? 
Oh, I said to Mr. Marshall, odds and even buts. You said alternate. Uh, it was your idea. I just used different words. I got, yeah. to, I got to thinking of it, but uh, all of these suggestions that I gave to Mr. Marshall were yours. I just gave them to him in, a, in different form of words, that's all. I guess the idea is... I just love black folks, man. I love my Latin women. I what love about my Latin women. About the right guy I the right fucking guy. love my what Latin women. Like what you said about the poor Hammermeyer when he got laid off the job. You were told I don't have a job right now, And I feel like shit. I feel like shit, Remember? I feel like shit. No one financially, I'm, I'm fucked up still today. You become the Mr. Marshall. I'm going to stand up, baby. That don't mean nothing. That's the part that don't mean nothing. I get it. It's like God damn. Man, I don't know why I thought I had a wonderful head on my shoulder. Goddamn prick. So I found out it was yours. I need a prick. I apologize. I need a goddamn prick. I'm the type you can trust. You can trust me. You can trust me, bro. I'm the most fortunate guy in the whole world to have a friend like you. Hey, I could be trusted, and I'm not. I'm not just running my mouth, y'all. I can. You can put a hundred thousand, two, three hundred thousand. You can put a million dollars in cash in my safe and my trust. You tell nobody else. Just me and you. Stash it, and you come get it next year. Guess what? It is what you gave me, and that's rare. Fucking rare. It's not what you're thinking. It's what I'm thinking. It's what I what I feel inside as a man, knowing that my word is platinum. It's platinum, man. Yeah, it is, and that's rare to find. You knowing that his my word, wow. You would say to yourself, man. Wow. Wow, I didn't know. I didn't know. You know, I, you know, somebody lost the ring. I returned it. You know, this motherfucker didn't even say thank you. I regret giving that back to him. I regret giving that giving that back to that nigga. I'm grateful, son of a bitch, bro. We build on our strengths, innovating across the lineup. We took the Explorer and built it leaner and stronger than ever. The Escape, sleeker and smarter. And gave the Edge thrilling horsepower. We got to set a better example. And these young kids that get that be lying, I said, yo, man, right now, at least the you know, it's not as worse than having motherfuckers say, hey, man, you can't, you can't fuck with that dude. His word no good. Mm, no good. Two for six bucks every day. The biggest fish sandwich of your life. Me. What? Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's. Yes, me. The meat. We have the meat. I said it's Thoughts on me. 360. Yeah, Often imagined, rarely attempted. Accomplished just this once. Right now, get 0% APR on the 2021 K5 release in LXS for $179 a month. Watch Tamps and Fidel at Corey Chambers. Weeknights on the Pixel 11 News at 5. What's the difference? What is the difference between this and today's street game? Peace.